Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for today, Wednesday, August 15th, 2018. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. The Department of Agriculture on St. Kitts and the Department of Agriculture on Nevis on Tuesday, August 14th, collaborated on a workshop on the principles and procedures involved in plant pest surveillance. The workshop took place at the Department of Agriculture's conference room at Prospect Estate. Surveillance is very important in the agriculture sector as we use it to collect accurate information and record that data so as to help us with certain objectives in the agricultural sector, including to detect the presence of any quarantine pests that we are concerned about in the country. Also, additionally, we use it to um, get some information on pest risk analysis. That's very important. And we also use it to determine if there's a pest-free area or not. Some of the principles we touched on today were detection um, techniques, as well as insect capture methods. We looked at budget preparation, public awareness, and also we would have looked at fruit fly surveillance in particular, as that's an area that we want to expand. We do have a surveillance program in St. Kitts at the moment, and we want to expand and share and also get a surveillance program in Nevis to determine what fruit flies are present, if any, and what mitigation measures we could engage in to try to suppress or eradicate those pests. The facilitators of the workshop were Senior Quarantine Officer Janelle Kelly and Plant Quarantine Assistant Officer Sir Shakima Hazel of the Department of Agriculture on St. Kitts. My role in today's presentation was to talk about um, the fruit flies of economic importance. We have one in St. Kitts right now, it's called the Anastrefa Oblica, aka the West Indian fruit fly. They have about 5,000 fruit flies, but 500 of those are deemed to be pests. So this is just uh, showing you the life cycle of the fruit fly. We have the egg, larva, preparium, adult, mating, and the oviposition. Oviposition is basically when the fruit fly uses its aculeus to puncture the food and lays its eggs. And then the eggs would then in turn turn into larvae and then the larvae would feed on inside of the food. The one we have in St. Kitts, it attacks mainly mangoes and its alternate alternate host would be carambola or guava or anything it could feed on once it's in season. Among the workshop's participants was Quincy Bard, Senior Quarantine Officer in Nevis. This is just only the first step. The second phase is for implementation. We at the quarantine division will try to develop surveillance programs to ensure that our borders are protected. Senior Quarantine Officer in the NIA's Department of Agriculture, Quincy Bart. The Honorable Eric Evelyn is applauding the efforts of the various stakeholders who have made sterling contributions to youth development and to ensuring that there are safe spaces for youth. The Honorable Eric Evelyn is the Minister of Youth in the Nevis Island Administration. We think about the long-standing clubs and organizations, which include, but are not limited to, the church-based organizations and the community-based organizations. We say a heartfelt thank you to the leaders who have over the years worked tirelessly to ensure that the various groups met and provided that safe space for our young people. In his address to mark the observance of International Youth Day, Sunday, August 12th, Minister Evelyn encouraged adults in society to support the youth and do whatever they can to foster safe spaces in which youth can operate in every facet of their lives. We must bear in mind that the creation of safe spaces heavily depends on us as adults. To the youth, you must ensure that you create safe spaces for your peers and refrain from deviant behavior, especially on social media. It must start with you to stop the abuse, whether it be physical or social, bearing in mind that every youth deserves to operate in a safe space. Minister Evelyn noted that the Nevis Island Administration will continue to work on this area as it sees the need for increased efforts in the provision of physical safe spaces. 
In November 2017, the first St. Kitts Nevis Youth Policy was passed in Parliament. This policy redefined the age of youth in the Federation as persons between the ages of 12 and 29. The lead agencies in the Federation for Youth-Related Matters are the Department of Youth Empowerment on St. Kitts and the Department of Youth on Nevis. During the consultative process of the policy, one of the areas for attention which was identified was the importance of and the need for safe spaces for youth. As such, the United Nations decision to celebrate International Youth Day 2018 under the theme Safe Spaces for Youth demonstrates that our young people are no different from their global counterparts and that even at the international level, the importance of safe spaces has been recognized. While the international theme for Youth Day was Safe Spaces for Youth, the local theme was Going Higher Places, we're creating safe places. Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, the Honorable Dr. Timothy Harris, says his Team Unity Administration is committed to reviewing the country's minimum wage rate, which currently stands at $9 an hour based on a 40-hour work week. The Team Unity Administration will pursue a revision of the minimum wage and will wait to see what the outcome of that matter is, Prime Minister Harris said, while noting that discussions on the matter between critical states stakeholder groups have already begun. The Prime Minister was at the time responding to a question while appearing on WinFM's Straight Talk radio program with host the Honorable Ian Patches Liburd on Monday evening, August 13th. Prime Minister Harris noted that the discussions on the revision of the country's minimum wage rate will be led by Senior Minister and Minister of Labor, the Honorable Vance Amory. Prime Minister Harris added that the matter of a livable wage has always been an important part of the agenda of the Team Unity Administration because the government has been concerned that people should be able to live with dignity and decency. He said he appreciates that the wage, and indeed the minimum wage, is a clear starting point as to how well people would be able to live in a satisfactory condition. The minimum wage rate in St. Kitts and Nevis was last changed in November 2014. Known as Uwali, land of beautiful waters by its native inhabitants and later nicknamed Queen of the Caribbean by British settlers, Nevis has long relied on its natural prowess and resources to create livelihoods for its people. The people of Nevis have long remained connected to the gifts nature has bestowed. As an ambassador of this majestic island, it is my duty to encourage my people to nurture, preserve, and protect what makes us unique as a people and strong as a country. Welcome back. U.S. forecasters have downgraded their hurricane season predictions. They now say that ocean conditions suggest that it is now likely that a below average number of storms will strike the Atlantic and Caribbean this year. According to the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Climate Prediction Center, conditions in the ocean and the atmosphere are conspiring to produce a less active Atlantic hurricane season than initially predicted in May. Experts now expect that between 9 and 13 storms large enough to earn their own names will form, of which 4 to 7 will become hurricanes. No more than two major hurricanes with winds 111 miles per hour are forecast before the season ends on November 30th. The milder outlook comes after a particularly devastating year in 2017 when 10 hurricanes tore through the Atlantic Basin making it the most expensive season on record. 
And finally, the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA, has concluded that Zika virus transmission in the Caribbean region has been interrupted and that the risk to residents and visitors to the region of acquiring Zika is low. This follows a review by CAFA of the data of the last 30 months pertinent to the situation. At this time, ongoing surveillance and laboratory testing in CAFA member states indicate the epidemic circulation of Zika virus has been interrupted in Caribbean territories. This is based on congruency of data available from several sources and on experience of previous outbreaks of mosquito-borne viral diseases in the region. Local surveillance in member states has demonstrated both a decrease in general fever-related illness as well as a specific absence of Zika virus reports over the past year. CAFA Regional Laboratory continues to test samples for mosquito-borne disease, including Zika, dengue, and chikungunya. These tests have shown the drastic decrease from the peak of Zika virus circulation in 2016 to a situation where no cases of Zika virus have been confirmed among samples received from any CAFA member states over the past 12 months. CAFA has reached out to international public health agencies, including the Public Health Agency of Canada and the European Centers for Disease Control, for information on cases of Zika virus in travelers returning from the Caribbean to Canada and Europe respectively. The data shared indicate a similar pattern to that seen in regional data, a drastic decrease from high point in 2016 to sporadic cases in the immediate aftermath and no cases this year. CAFA advises that there is still a need to be vigilant given the ongoing risk for dengue and other mosquito-borne diseases. CAFA encourages visitors and residents to protect themselves from mosquito bites by using insect repellents, wearing protective clothing and staying in screened or air conditioning accommodations. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. I am Bronte Winston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing. At a loss as to what's going on in Nevis, tune into NNC on MTV. Don't worry if you don't have cable either. NNC will bring the news to you wherever you are. Facebook and Facebook Live. YouTube and YouTube Live. NevisTVOnline.com. Roku app, NTV mobile app, Smart TV, Apple TV, and any other IPTV platforms. When me ain't see and you ain't see, NNC.